Kalayaan 3 is said to have been planted by the Philippines' very first president. A visit to Malolos would not be complete without dropping by to the famous Baraswing Church. Let's go to the so-called the Gateway of the Northern Philippines. What's up guys? Biyaheng Bulacan tayo and we are going to the Bulacan's capital, the city of Malolos. Let's go! Baraswing Church, take Tabang Exit. Mga biyahero, ang bayan ng Malolos ay matatagpuan sa probinsya ng Bulacan. And Bulacan is popularly known as the gateway to the northern Philippines dahil dito ang daan patung norte. The province name is derived from the Tagalog word Bulac, meaning cotton, which was its former provincial product. And here you will find the best chicharon in the Philippines. Wow! Ang bayan ng Malolos ay nasa kanlurang bahagi ng Bulacan. And there are so many historical spots here, like Malolos Cathedral, Malolos Water District, Casa Real Shrine, Old Malolos City Hall, Tampoy Bridge, and the last but not the least, the famous Baraswing Church. Wow! We are here now, touchdown, at Malolos City, Bulacan. Yeah! Alright, our first stop is the Malolos Cathedral. During the historical war, the bell was topped with triangular cone and now it is replaced by the statue of the Immaculate Conception. As said by the elders, if it is your first time on a church, you've got to make a wish. In front of the cathedral, you will see the Kalayaan Tree Monument which is about 126 years old. The Kalayaan tree is said to have been planted by Emilio Aguinaldo himself, the very first president of the Philippines. It may look like just an ordinary tree, but it's the history associated with it that counts. So right here on the left side of the Malolos Cathedral, you will see the old Malolos Water Tower, which was built in 1923 during the American colonial period to supply water for the Malolos residents. And it is now under the National Commission for Culture and Arts in preserving the historical tower. Alright guys, we are on our way to the public market to buy some chicharon, which is the famous here in Bulacan. Ganda, may laman. Masarap. Ayun. Apat to. Pabila apat. So guys, in front of Malolos Cathedral is the old Malolos City Hall. Malolos is the historical site of the Constitutional Convention of 1898 that led to the establishment of the very first Philippine Republic, the first republic in Asia, led by Emilio Aguinaldo, our first president. At the back of the city hall is the Tampoy River. Alright, let's go to the Tampoy Bridge. Let's go! Back in the old days, ang Ilog Tampoy ang naging daungan ng mga inaangkat at inululuwas na kalakal na nakakapagambag sa pagunlad ng bayan noong panahon ng Kastila. So ayun, nandito na tayo sa Tampoy Bridge. I'm 
Magkano po dito? 20 pesos po. Pabili po lima. So guys, after Tampoy Bridge, let's go to the Casa Real. Also known as Museo Pampolitika ng Pilipinas. So let's go inside. So this is the Imperial Press. So you know why may ganito dito. Because Casa Real served as the office of the National Printing Press of the Revolutionary Government. And now, it is served as a national museum. Ang kalakalang galyon, ang interpasipiko na nag-uugnay sa ibang bahagi ng Asia, tungo sa bagong daigdig. Here at the second floor, makikita ang unang yugto ng Himagsikan. So, there is a life-size statue. It looks like real but medyo creepy Alright, I would like you to meet our very first president Emilio Aguinaldo The second is President Manuel L. Quezon The third is President Jose P. Laurel Fourth is President Sergio Asmeña. Fifth is President Manuel Rojas. Sixth is President LP Jocirino. Seventh is President Ramon Magsaysay. Eight is President Carlo P. Garcia. The ninth president is President Justado Macapagal. Our tenth is President Ferdinand Marcos. And our first female president, President Corazon Cuanco Aquino. Twelve is President Fidel Ramos. Thirteen is President Joseph Estrada. Fourteen is PGMA, Pangulong Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Fifteen is Pangulong Noynoy Aquino, also known as Pinoy. And our sixteenth and current president, Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. And today, June 19, 2021, ay ang ika-160th birthday ng ating pambansang bayani na si Dr. Jose Rizal. Alright, let's go to our next destination in MacArthur Highway. So here, what's new in Malolos? You can clearly see it here in the outside. Ang usap-usapan na private plane dito sa Malolos. So the owner of this plane is the restaurant here. The Cassis Restaurant. Some says na it will use for dine-in inside the plane.
Next up is the provincial capital of Bulacan. So this is Marcelo H. Del Pilar, also known as Plaridel, became known as the leaders of the reform movement in Spain. And this is General Gregorio Del Pilar, also known as Goyong, the nephew of Marcelo H. Del Pilar. He was a Filipino general of the Philippine Revolutionary Army when he was 24 years old. So every province has their own provincial capital which is located on its capital city. Like here in Malolo City is the capital city of Bulacan. And on the side of the capital, there is a park that you can go on a picnic. Alright guys, down to our main event, the Baraswain Church. Let's go inside! Inside the Baraswain Church, there is a small park. Sometimes it is used as a prenup location for weddings. Also, here in Baraswain Church, it has its own museum located on the second floor. Let's check it out. So right here is the church old bells, replaced from its bell tower from decades, and some of it has cracks. Watawat ng kalayaan. There's so many things here about our history. It's good for the kids or even us to learn or to know about our history. Here is the miniature of the Baraswain Church. The Baraswain Church was built in 1888 and it is actually made of stones. This is one of the best church in terms of history and culture. It is also good for pictorials because of its historical value. Alright, another addition for my collection, the Baraswain Church Ref Magnet. Alright guys, you already know, it's time for KSTJ. Puni is made of coconut leaf. And it is used as food container for suman or palaspas or can used as a toy. The dyeing art of coconut leaf weaving in Malolos, Bulacan. And also the dyeing art form of pabalat in Malolos, Bulacan. The burlas de pastillas. In Bulacan, they have been known to wrap their pastillas in colorful and intricately designed paper. Kaya tara na po marine sa Malolos, Bulacan for a historical travel. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more travel vlogs. Thank you.